So just like always, we're going to go to new composition. In here, we're going to set it to 1920 by 1080. Keep it unlocked, have it on square pixels, and then put the frame rate on 30 or 60 FPS. Have the resolution on quarter, change the duration to how long your music is, and you can leave the background color on its default color. Go ahead and press OK. And you pretty much want to get yourself the background with the music. We're going to highlight them both, and then drag them into the timeline. Once you've imported both of them, we're going to left click off of them. We're going to left click on the photo, press S for scale, and then set this to 40. Left click off of it, go back onto it, and then press T for the opacity, and set this to 12. You can minimize this one, and to create the actual audio spectrum, it's really simple. All you have to do is right click in the empty area, go to new, solid. In here, we're going to call it audio, and then spec. You can leave the rest of the settings on normal, so make sure they are the same as the project. Go ahead and press OK. Next up, we need to search for the actual effect. And to do that, we're going to go to the effects and presets, which is right here. Now, if you don't see yours open, you can go to window and you'll see the effects and presets, which is right here. In there, you just want to type in audio. And then once you found the audio spectrum, you want to drag yourself this one into the new solid layer that you've just created. And to link up the music with the visualizer, all you have to do is go to the audio layer and where it says number one, you set this one to number three or where your music is. For the starting point, we're going to change the position to 186. You can leave the second one on normal, go to the end point, set this one to 1724, left click off of it and leave this one on normal. You can leave the star frequency on 20. The end frequency is going to be 500. Number of bands is going to be 30. Put the maximum height on 4000. Leave the audio duration on 90. Put the thickness to 5. The softness to 0. Change the inner color to a pure white color. Go ahead and press OK. Same as the outer color, a pure white. Go ahead and press OK. And then finally, you want to scroll to the bottom. And where it says side options, set this to side A only. Next up, we need to get ourselves some other effects. So the next one that we need to get is called Mini, and then you'll see something called Minimax. You want to drag this into the same layer, and this will basically allow us to make these lines much thicker. So you want to set the radius to 15, and then the channel to alpha and color. We need to close this one down, and we need to move on to the next one, which is the blinds. So if you search in blinds, you want to get yourself this one right at the bottom, and then same again, into the same solid. We're going to set this one on 30%, 90 degrees for the angle, and then the width to 30. So now we have the blinds, we're going to move on to the next one, which is the gradient. And to create that, you type in four, and you'll see something called four color gradient. Get yourself this and drag it into the same layer. For this one, we have four colors, which we have to pick. They are right here and we need to change the position. So starting off with the first color, we're going to set this to FF0000. Go ahead and press OK. Go on the first location and set this one to 285.8. For the second one, we're going to leave this on 108. Moving on to the next color, you want to set this one to 00FFFC. Press OK. Go into the first position. Pray to 1627.3. The second one is going to be 174. Color number three is going to be FF00FF. Press OK. Go on to the position, set it to 240.6. For the last one, is going to be 913. And the very last color, you want to click on this one and set it to 
zero, zero, FF. Go ahead and press OK. Go into the position 17, 14, point 1. Go into the second color and set it to 937.3. Left click off of it. And the very last thing that we can do, the nice little touch, get yourself the stylized glow and then drag it into the solid layer. Go all the way to the bottom to the effect and we're going to focus on the threshold. So leave that on 60. For the radius, you want to set this to 162. The intensity to 1.4. Make sure it's on behind and then change the glow operation to litten. We've now got the audio spectrum. So if we have a look at this, you can see it starts to move. At the moment, it's a little bit too high. So what we can do is we can go into the audio spectrum layer, press P for position. And then on the end one, we're going to change this one to 653. Next up, some of the waves will be a bit too high. And if you want to limit the amount it reaches, you can click on here, choose the tilt slash action safety. Once you've got this open, we're going to go to the shape tool, click on here, make sure you select in this layer right here, and then you want to drag yourself a mask onto here like so. You can then go back onto the first tool and then left click off of it. We can minimize this one. We can close this one down. If you wanted to, you can take this off so you can get rid of it. And then finally, if you wanted to add some text, you can go over to the music layer, right click on this one, click on rename, press Control and C to copy the name of it, left click off of it, get yourself the text tool, left click and drag this out, and then press Control and V. We can get rid of the end bit because we don't really need that bit. The font that I'm using is called Revolution and I've set it to 77 for the size. We can then drag these back in. Now that you've done that, we're going to go onto the first tool, go onto the anchor point. You can move the anchor point onto the bottom left corner right here. Now that you've done that, we're going to press P for position on the text layer. For the first one, we're going to set this to 168.5, and then the second one to 750.4. And there we go. If you wanted to, you can move it a little bit more underneath or keep it right about there. And there we go. You are pretty much done. You now have your audio spectrum. And if we just quickly preview this, you can see it moves nicely to the beat of the music. Now, one thing that I've noticed is this corner bit right here, because we created that mask, it's made it a little bit more transparent. So to fix that, we're going to open this up, go into the mask, make sure this one's selected, go into the first tool, Hold shift, click on the left side. So you deselect these sides and then drag the side a little bit more out. Like so.